What is happening? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Catherine. In today's video, we're going to be adding a candy shop right around here to the Rainbow Village. But before we get into that, there are a few things that I want to do. First, I want to go to the art museum so I can add all the new artwork that you guys sent in this week. Guys, look how many we have. We literally have eight paintings to add to the art museum today. That's insane. So we have this one by Galaxy Kitty. This one is by Cute Play. This one is by Juliana. This one is by MBA Cutie Girl. Then we have this one by K Monster. Then we have this one by Estanaro Lewis. I hope I'm saying your name right. Then we have this one by Velvet Virgo. And let me just change the size. There we go. And the last one for today is by Talia. Okay, now I actually wanna head on over to the cat cafe that we made last week because I think I gave the cats raw fish instead of cooked fish by accident and the cats that I put in here are from the mod Mo Creatures and in order to kind of tame them I guess you have to give them cooked fish and then something called an amulet. So let's see if we can actually make these little guys our friends. So let's see if anything happens when I give you a cooked fish. Did you- <gasps> He just ate it! I heard him munching! And I'm pretty sure I just need to click on them with the pet amulet. So let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, okay. I smacked the cat, but it gave him the amulet? Am I supposed to smack all the cats? Smack you? Okay, it works. This seems not right, but um, it's, it's working. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. But like, now what do I do? <gasps> what is happening? Oh my God, what? Wait, why is it? What? <laughs> I feel like this is the wrong way to hold an animal. This does not look right. <laughs> Can I put him down? Get off me. There we go. I'm gonna have to do some research on how this mod actually works because I'm pretty sure you can do more than just awkwardly pick up animals because <laughs> this just seems really weird. The next thing that I wanted to do was actually connect this building to the town, so I need- Oh, is this another bunny? Oh my god, it's Fluffy's twin. Wait, stop jumping. Be my friend. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna name him Buns. So we have Fluffy and we have Buns, and together we're gonna have Fluffy Buns. There we go. Fluffy, this is your new friend. You be nice to him, okay? Okay, so back to what I was doing. I want to connect the cat cafe and some of these future bills to the town. So I'm going to go work on the path and I'll be right back. Okay, so for now the path is done. The cat cafe is officially connected to the rest of the village. And so is this future build right here. And now we can finally start working on the candy shop. I have a chest over here that I filled up with some items that I think would be perfect for a candy shop. So we have a bunch of candy over here and some building supplies and I'm actually going to go ahead and grab these items first so we can get started on building. If you guys want to build the same candy shop as me, this is just an 11 by 11 square and it's going to be four blocks tall. Now I'm just covering the entire roof with slabs, but since I don't have any white slabs that I like, I'm going to be using the carpenter block mod again to make it look the way that I want it to look. Okay, and now that that's done, I want to add some doors. So let's put one here and one here. And I also want to decorate with fences again. And normally I just add fences to the front of my buildings, but for this one, I kind of want to do the entire thing. Now we need to add some windows. So let's put one in the front here and then we need some on the sides as well. So maybe we can put one here and a big one here and then another one here. Ooh, I like this. Now let's do the same thing to the other side. So I believe I just did two spaces and then one, a space and then a three wide window, a space and then a one window again. Now let's just add some glass. Let's put some right here and some on the other side. Now I just need to grab these clay colors because I wanna make the awning on this store rainbow. So let's see. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and red again, 
orange, yellow. I want to do the same thing with the fences, but I want them to be like the same color. So I need to start red here and go orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. There we go. That looks so cute. I actually think I want to make the doors purple. So let's do that. <gasps> cute. Okay, so just like the cat cafe we just built, I want to add some more flowers to the front. So let's just add some window boxes and fill them with flowers. And I also made a sign for this place, so let's put that right here. Now for the inside flooring, I actually want to make this a rainbow too, so let's just do a basic horizontal pattern. This looks so cool, and actually I really like the way this entire building looks so far because I knew I wanted to keep it really simple. I mean, I literally built a white square, that's that's all it is, but by decorating it with the rainbow fences and the awning, like, it just looks so good. And if you close the doors, you can just see the flooring through the windows and ah, it just looks so cute. So now that the outside is done, we can finally start decorating the inside. And the first thing I want to add is a counter right in the middle here. Then I think I want to put these vending machines along the back on each side. So we can put three there and three here. I kind of want to put that sign that I made inside the store as well. So if we can just make this bigger. <gasps> That looks so cool like that! Okay, I'm just gonna fill this space up with item frames. And then I have these shelves that I was thinking we can put like where these spaces are. So we can put some here, and then some right here. And we can do the same thing to the other side, so right here, and right here. I actually have two different types of candy vending machines. They're basically the same thing. One is just short and one is just tall. So I feel like we could put these little ones down here under the windows. And then maybe we can put this tall one in the corner here. Let's put the bubble gum machine here. And I guess we can also put the candy canes up front too. And then I have these two bowls of candy. So let's put the candy corn in the middle and we'll put these little rainbow candies on each side. And we'll do the same thing over here too. So candy corn in the middle, and then the rainbow candies here and here. These look so cute! Look at them! I think for the top row of those item frames, I want to add a bunch of smoothies. So we have a cherry smoothie, a melon smoothie, an orange smoothie, lemon, kiwi, lime, blueberry, grape, and fig. And then in these item frames, I'm just gonna add some donuts. So we have some frosted sprinkle donuts and we have some jelly donuts. That looks so good. Okay, now I'm just gonna fill up the rest of these shelves with some candies and treats and I'll be right back. Okay, so the shelves are completely full now and I actually ended up connecting the top parts together. So we have some rainbow bacon, we have some gummy bears, we have chocolate bars and butter candy. Then over here we have some Pop-Tart looking fairy bread, we have some chocolate covered strawberries, some cream cookies and jelly beans. This corner is looking a little empty to me, so I'm just gonna add some more item frames and I'm gonna fill them up with some gumballs. Let's add a table and some chairs over here in case anybody wants to come in and sit down. And then I think the only thing left to do is to add some light because it's a bit dark in here. Okay, so I added some skylights, which did help a little bit. Um, I would add some candles in the back, but I just don't like how yellow it makes everything. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the skylights. And for the final touch of this candy shop, I'm gonna add some fairy lights along this wall right here. And I think we're done. So this is the finished candy shop. If you like it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, but I'm gonna end today's episode here. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the new candy shop. If you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.